راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه نطور ادواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى لنا زاد أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلوات الله وسلامه على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the compassionate, the merciful and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions and his followers all under the day of resurrection I welcome you to this new episode of uh, the series of Tafsir on the first level for Zad Academy. And uh, we started last time talking about Surah Al-Fatiha, the chapter of Al-Fatiha. And today we're going to talk about the uh, true ahadith regarding the virtue of this great surah. The first one is by Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, who said that when Jibreel alayhi salam was sitting with, uh, uh, with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, he heard a creaking sound from above and he raised his head. Now, who, who actually heard and raised his head? It's either the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam or Jibreel alayhi salatu wa salam. And he said, this is the door from heaven that uh, was opened today and has not been opened uh, before except today and an angel came down from it or through that door and he said this is an angel that came down to earth that never came down except today and then he gave a greeting and salam and he said to the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam abshir bi nurayni uti tahuma لم يؤتهما نبي قبلك فاتحة الكتاب وخواتيم سورة البقرة لن تقرأ بحرف منهما إلا أعطيته This hadith was reported by a Muslim. What did he say? He said a glad tiding for you with two lights that you've been given and no prophet before you has been given this and these are the opening of the book and the uh, last uh, verses from Surah Al-Baqarah that you'd never read a letter from them except that you'll be given it, meaning you'll give, you are given the reward for it. So that showed how good that is and how virtuous is Surah Al-Fatiha and the uh, last verses of Surah Al-Baqarah. Al-Bukhari also reported, rahimahullah, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said to Abi Sa'id ibn Mu'alla, and we already talked about this hadith in the previous lesson, uh, I will teach you a surah that is the greatest surah in the Quran. And he said, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, it is as sab al-Mathani, the most, uh, uh, the seven, uh, the often repeated seven verses. And Al-Qur'an Al-Azim Al-Ladhi Utituhu. So it is Al-Qur'an Al-Azim that I was given. Also, Abu Hurair radiallahu anhu said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, and uh, uh, when Ubay uh, radiallahu anhu was reading uh, uh, Umm Al-Qur'an, the essence of the Qur'an, the mother of the Qur'an, he said, وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِهِ مَا أُنزِلَ فِي التَّوْرَاتِ وَلَا فِي الْإِنْجِيلِ وَلَا فِي الزَّبُورِ وَلَا فِي الْفُرْقَانِ مِثْلُهَا إِنَّهَا السَّبْعُ الْمَثَانِ وَالْقُرْآنُ الْعَظِيمُ الَّذِي أُوْتِيتْ أَخْرَجَهُ الْإِمَامُ أَحْمَدْ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ He said, by 
who uh, by whom uh, by whom my soul is uh, is uh, uh, is in his hands i uh, uh, there, there was there have been never uh, a revelation in torah or in the gospel or in the zabur or in the furqan um, something like it it is the seven uh, seven uh, the often repeated seven verses and al quran azim that i was that i was given uh, that was said by the Prophet ﷺ when Ubay was reading Surah Al-Fatiha to him. Uh, also, one of the names is, uh, of, of Al-Fatiha is As-Salah. Uh, Abu Hurairah anhu said that I heard the Prophet, uh, the Messenger of Allah ﷺ saying, قال الله تعالى قسمت الصلاة بيني وبين عبدي نصفين I divided Salah meaning Al-Fatiha between me and my servant into two halves. And for uh, my uh, servant, what he asks for. So when the servant says, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, my servant has praised me. And when he says, Ar-Rahman uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Athna alayya abdi, meaning he praised me. And when he says, Maliki yawmiddin, he said, Majjadani abdi, uh, my servant glorified me. And when he said, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ He said, this is between me and my servant and for my servant, what he asked for. And when the servant says, إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِّينَ He said, this is for my servant and for my servant, what he asked for. This hadith was reported by Muslim, meaning this, you are in a, a, a great discussion with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this interaction. So you're speaking to Allah and Allah is answering you when you recite Al-Fatiha in your surah. Look at how great this surah is. That's why it's essential to read it in every rak'ah in your own salah. Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu uh, also said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ صَلَّى صَلَاةً لَمْ يَقْرَأْ فِيهَا بِأُمِّ الْكِتَابِ فَهِيَ خِدَاجٌ هِيَ خِدَاجٌ هِيَ خِدَاجٌ غَيْرُ تَمَامٌ This was reported by a Imam Muslim. So uh, the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم said, based on what Abu Hurair رضي الله عنه reported, مَنْ صَلَّى صَلَاةً Whoever prayed a prayer that he did not read uh, with the essence of the book, the mother of the book, meaning Al-Fatiha, then his salah is either incomplete or imperfect. Um, and, and, and what uh, affirms the, the word incomplete is غَيْرُ tamam, not complete. So it, it, is, it is not, uh, so of course, some scholars said that you have to read it in every rak'ah, even when the, uh, when the imam is reading, but actually the correct opinion is that you... Uh, when you are in loud uh, prayer, you shall uh, listen to uh, the recitation of Al-Imam and you can read after uh, when he says Waladdalin and everyone says Ameen. You can read Al-Fatiha afterwards if you'd like, uh, but if you do not read it, then the Imam has already read it um, uh, on behalf of you for himself and for the uh, people behind him. If, if, he's, if, he's, if he's in a loud prayer. So that is, that is regarding the virtues of uh, uh, Al-Fatiha in uh, authentic hadith. Now, let's come and get into the meaning of uh, Surah Al-Fatiha. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Hamd is a, is a praise of Allah with the perfect uh, attribute, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course, uh, all of the uh, actions of Allah uh, are virtuous and are, are, are just. So he has all the complete uh, praise, subhanahu wa ta'ala, from all aspects, from every, every aspect. That's why it is important to say alhamd, which is different than shukr, for example. Uh, and you're not only here uh, 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 just praising Allah in, 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 uh, without uh, glorification and, and without, so without uh, the praise, uh, love, 
and veneration. This is this is important. That's why uh, we, we say alhamdu, alhamdu, which is different than say ashukru uh, lillahi uh, rabbil alameen. And alhamd, alif, the uh, uh, proposition, alhamdu, uh, mashallah, uh, is, is, is really inclusive of everything, all kinds, all types of, of, of hamd. Lillahi, it's for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah meaning al-ma'luh, so meaning the one who is being worshipped with love and veneration, um, who, is, uh, uh, who deserves the uh, singling of worship uh, to him subhanahu wa ta'ala because he is the deity. He is the one to be, to be worshipped. Rabbil alameen. Rabb is, is, uh, is the one who has all three qualities, the uh, authority of creation, the uh, sovereignty, and uh, uh, the control of, uh, of the affairs of people. So that is how he is the Lord. He is the Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala because he conducts all the uh, affairs and matters and he is the owner um, and he, of course, he's the creator. So all of these qualities are with that. Of course, you can use the word Rabb um, in, in Arabic language. You say Rabb dari meaning uh, the, the master or the owner of, uh, of the house, for example. And, uh, uh, of course, when you read, when you say it in, in, in respect to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is really and truly the, uh, uh, the Rabb and uh, the uh, Lord of the worlds. Uh, look at what an Imam al-Sa'di is telling us about, about this rububiyyah, uh, uh, um, where he said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his own way of uh, uh, taking care of, of his own people in, 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 in general and in specific terms. So in general, it is, uh, he has, uh, he takes care of, of all of the uh, creatures um, and his, all of his creation, including humans and the jinn and uh, animals and every, everything that he, he created, and he will provide rizq and provision for them. He will guide them to what is of good interest for them and what keeps them alive and well in this, in this life. So that is general one. The, in specific terms, he also cares for his own uh, friends, meaning people, who, al, al awliya, meaning the believers. Uh, so he will uh, take care of their iman, he will guide them to it, he will uh, uh, drive them away from anything that is um, going to take them away from iman, uh, any obstacles that will prevent them from getting uh, between him and between them and, 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 and him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And actually, the truth is that he will guide them to everything that is good and he will uh, take them away from anything that is, that is evil. This is, this is why uh, the Prophet والسلام, and the earlier prophets used to make dua <coughs> by Rabbi, Rabbi or Ya Rabbana or Rabbana. Rabbana, Rabbi, so using, using the word before dua in order to show that yes, you need your Lord, you need uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take care of you. And talking about al-alameen, al-alameen is a plural word for alam, which is everything other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah is the creator, everything else is uh, uh, created. Uh, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahman is uh, 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 an attribute of Allah of himself subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he has this attribute of rahma, of mercy and compassion within himself subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Rahim is where his, his rahmah reaches out to people. So he in of himself is Rahman, but also he is uh, uh, Rahim of everyone there outside uh, uh, in the creation subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and it's very interesting that if you have this Ar-Rahman uh, uh, or Ar-Rahim coming alone 
it also includes the, the meaning of the other. If they come together like here, so that means uh, the general rahma or mercy and the specific rahma for ar-Rahim. That's how, how things are, um, are really uh, good. Here, uh, actually, we can, we can com complete, inshallah, uh, uh, in the next uh, lesson, uh, some of the uh, benefits of this ayah and the exercise regarding this lesson. Until I see you in the coming lesson, I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. يا راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه مطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى دنازات أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان